I like to use my trapping for self-defense, but sometimes my jujitsu training kicks in because it's hard to throw hands unless you've got some serious skill. So I was trying to de-escalate the situation. He fired that jab at me and my holy shit block came up. You don't know what it is? Go check out the video. So I'm here. I created this motion. Boom, his hand's coming out. If his hand was not coming out, it would be a chop look. Now it's my boxing range time, get a smash away. But that jab cross came out, mine was still the same, okay? But you guys would be like, well, it's not really cross. If he's throwing a cross like this, look, it's still blocked. So oh, his elbow's up, oh, thanks keyboard warriors. If it's a hook punch, then I have to get in and do something else. I'm not talking about that, but thanks for commenting. So I'm here, boom, we're back to, okay, I have connection. Now I have connection, what do I do with this? The second I let go of this hand, he's gonna to wanna to swing with that hand. So let's talk about the trappers first, make you guys nice and happy, okay? I let go of the hand, his hand goes back to his face, this hand comes up, boom, puck, fuck, entry, hit, or boom, elbow time, do whatever you want. That's why you guys train to be able to play with this stuff. But what's most important is I'm not getting punched. I'm not getting punched. I have connection. Now what do I do? Okay. It, to me, all comes down to the pressure of this arm. If my fox out or my chopping hand or back fist hand made him bend at 90, I'm a pock fuck guy. I pock and I fuck and I move in. <laughs> and then I blow the house down. Right? So from here, but what if all of a sudden their pressure is stronger? and you feel that pressure coming at you. Oh, there's a multitude of different things here that you can play with. But you have to have that Wing Chun mindset that I talk about to help get you to there. You can't think I'm going to inflict pain onto him by doing a pak fuck 100% of the time because if he starts extending and I pak fuck, look, I don't have my body behind me now. His energy was too strong. My center of gravity went from being nice and low in my Dante and my center to now raising up into my head. It's not gonna work so well. So compared to going up with it, roll with it. So let that fox out and the pressure come at you, roll and turn your body. Once that happens, we now have control of this arm, right? So now my wrestling kicks in, two on one arm drag. Can look like this, can look like this but this is where we are. So I make it work for me. So I can pull on this clothesline set up more striking. You guys love that. Watch that one. Boom, boom, whack, whack. Oh yeah, free hit. So cool. Yeah, it looks so awesome. Doesn't always work though, guys. That's why we need options. And if you really don't like getting punched in the face, because in that moment here, he might punch me there. Boom, I might put up a block. It might stop here, but he pulls back that hand. He might punch me there. Hmm. Where's my self-defense, right? Self-defense means not taking any shots, hopefully. So he fires, I'm here, I absorb it, it comes in, I'm like, man, I don't wanna get punched today. The military would say, you don't wanna get punched, hug. It's actually pretty smart. So now this hand comes underneath and I'm looking for that underhook. Jiu-jitsu time, arm drag time, wrestling time, grappling range time. So as this comes in, boom, I'm only grappling because I train in grappling. If you don't train in grappling, don't do this. So I'm hugging, I'm here. The hard part is getting to his back. That is the really hard part because if I'm here and he starts turning in and pummeling and doing different things, we're in a wrestling fight. But I'm not eating punches, maybe. It's not a guarantee. So you have to have good wrestling if you want to get into here. As I go to take his back from here, he's immediately gonna go into his wrestling techniques. It's in this time I have to do my jujitsu takedown. So as he's trying to split that down and before he can turn and face the heart, I'm going to fall to the ground. I just call it a reverse side break fall. As I'm falling, I'm twisting and pulling him over. You can do this with technique or do this with muscle. I probably did both, to be honest. So I fall and he's over. So now he's down on the ground. What do I do? Jiu-Jitsu community is like, oh, bar, rear naked choke, right? All the super fun stuff. But let's say I go to arm bar him. So I set up, I come up here, I rock over it, I go, right? I go, I armbar. I like this style of armbar where I can still get away. But if I fall back for the armbar and now he holds onto it and I can't get it, or because he's tight and he's dirty, he pulls his knife out of his pocket, starts stabbing the shit out of me. I don't like that. So you guys can see, if you want to be training the style jujitsu, it's going to keep you safe. 
Rear naked choke may work. What if he pulls out the knife? Rear naked choke may work. What if his girlfriend comes and boots me in the face? Hmm, lots of different things. So instead, I went from this position. I said, hey, this dude was trying to punch me before. Now I'm in a dominant position. My knee's on the belly. I can inflict some damage because little bastard tried to beat me up. I'm still safe. I'm head on a swivel. Nobody's coming. I keep feeding shots, right? Make him understand not to try to attack me again, right? Ooh, somebody is coming. Time to get away. If you don't have that head on the swivel, that's when you're doing yourself a disservice. So can you do lots of different things here? Yes. What's the most important? He fires a punch. Don't get hit. That's the holy ship lock, okay? Turn the holy ship lock with a little bit of trapping into something that can attack. Woo, his arms bent. See, he almost punches himself in the face. He might have. Elbows bent, boom, pop, can't you cock on, hit, right? But maybe I gotta absorb that. And I gotta roll with that. There's lots of cool stuff you can do here, but boom, into your grappling reach. That's why you gotta train everything. Or you just go check on my digital seminar. Stay safe.